Your child has been diagnosed with asthma or has been sent to the hospital with clinical symptoms of asthma. I'm going to review the signs and symptoms, medications, and triggers that you should become familiar with in order to help out your child at home or while they're in crisis. What is asthma? Asthma is a disease of the lungs. It causes the lung walls and the airways to swell, not allowing the air to freely move. What happens during an asthma attack? Typically, your airway is nice and open, there's no swelling, and, there, and there's no restriction for the air to come in and out. As the child starts coughing or as, as it comes close to a trigger, it starts swelling up and building mucus, making the airways narrow, not allowing the airflow to come in freely as you would do when there's no triggers. Some of the triggers that could cause an asthma attack are pollen, animal dander, changes in the weather, respiratory infections such as viral infections or bacterial infections, perfumes, exercise, also smoking. If any of the parents or anybody near to the patient smokes, patients who are asthmatic are very sensitive to, the, to any of the smells and it will easily trigger an asthma attack. What medications would you be giving your child? Different medications that we use in order to manage the asthma and treat the, the symptoms of it. Flovin, these are your inhaled steroids. This is your, med your maintenance medications. These medications are given for a long period of time, twice a day, as long as the doctor tells you to do. It's very important that you give this medication even if the patient doesn't have any symptoms. This is gonna allow the airways to maintain nice and open to prevent an asthma attack or to minimize the severity of the attack. Some of the side effects of the flovent is dryness, dizziness, and any type of allergies, also cough, and headaches. Bronchodilators are your rescue medications. This is what's gonna open up the airway right there and then when you give them the medication. This is where you're gonna give, this is what you're gonna give when the patient is coughing, when it's wheezing, when it's short, when it's short, when it's short breath, or when you see that it's, there's, you, he can't breathe anymore. Um, some of the side effects of the bronchodilators are tachycardia, where the heart rate could go up and the heartbeat is faster, or jittery. Anti-inflammatories, they could be oral or inhaled. Oral are medications such as Oropred, Prenizone, Prenizolone. These are given in a short-term period, usually five to seven days. Some of the side effects of these medications are headaches, vomiting, and nausea. Leukotriene antagonists are medications that help out to block the allergen component of the asthma trigger. This is your singular amantelukast. This medication, um, what it does is that it, it suppresses the allergen trigger in the patient to block the environmental allergens. Some of the side effects of the medication is headaches, dizziness, drowsiness. This medication is usually given at night to allow for the patient to sleep and not disrupt any dysfunctions during the day. There's other medications that help out with the allergens in the environment, such as Singular, and this medication is usually taken at night because of the side effects. These are dizziness, drowsiness, and headaches. This is your puffer and this is your spacer. This is the way that you're gonna give the medic your medication. Once you open it, you wanna shake it and spray it to let the medication flow through the puff, okay? Do not give your medication straight to your mouth because it could stay in your tongue and it stays in your mucosa. So it won't, the medication won't really flow down to your lungs as it's supposed to, um, as it's supposed to do. So you wanna put the medication, through the puffer through here, make a tight seal through your nose and your mouth, and you're gonna do one puff at a time. So you're gonna do one puff, and you wanna breathe in and breathe out for about 10 to 12 seconds. And then do the second puff. Once you're done, you wanna close it, and you wanna clean your, your mask with hot water or soap. You could do it every day or every other day, depending how often you use it. It's important that you let your teacher know that you have this medication with you. That way, everybody is aware that if they see you with shortness of breath or coughing, they know that you have a medication that could help you, okay? Especially when you're doing exercise. Um, there is a marker in the back, 
and it'll count down to how many puffers you have left. So how much medication you have left on the, comp on the puffer. That way you could plan ahead and refill it as necessary. Now that you've become familiar with the medications and the triggers, once you go home, you're gonna be getting discharged with an asthma action plan. This action plan will help you identify and look out for the medications that you need to give your, your child in case that there's uh, an attack. This chart is, um, goes, it's color coded, it's green, yellow, and red. The green is when the patient is, when your child is good. There's no coughing, there's no, there's no sniffiness, there's no watery eyes, there's no signs and symptoms of anything. At this point, the only medications that you should be giving are your Flovens and your Singular, which are your maintenance medications. As a patient starts coughing, you wanna try to give the albuterol on the first cough. This is gonna help out to prevent a further attack or for the patient to further deteriorate to, uh, to prevent having to come back to the hospital. If the patient continues to cough and you see that the symptoms are worsening, this is time when you need to bring him to the hospital. Just know that at the time that this is happening on route, you're allowed to give your child the albuterol every 20 minutes as long as you're on route to the hospital. Because of the side effects, we don't want the heart rate of the child to go up so fast and um, you need to seek medical attention. Upon this charge, your nurse will be giving you a home management plan. This paper is individualized to your child's needs and it will help you identify signs and symptoms and the medications that you will need to give your child at home to help him manage the asthma attack. 